Hi, Brian from Emotemo, showing you how to save and load moves in our advanced method. Have our rig on RC008, the latest version. We've connected up our remote. We've mounted up a camera. In fact, we even have it on because we're going to be using the viewfinder to illustrate setting home references. In advanced saving and loading, the, really the only difference between this and the basic saving and loading is we are setting up a home, which doesn't need to be in your shot. It can be an ugly piece of rebar or a cell phone tower or something that is inconsequential and not in your shot. The idea here is we're picking something out of the world that's not going to be moving, and we're using that as a reference, a user set home. Once we do that, then we can save as many moves as we want, and it will use that reference so that in the future we can come back, set that reference, and all those moves that we load are going to use that reference and then point to the real world accurately. I'll show you how. It's not that hard. We're always going into program shots. Here we select our options and we see the load menu. I'm going to move on over to the save menu. First line says real world alignment not set. We are going to set that. And I'm going to start this camera recording so you can, we can jump on it and show you. We've got a lot of stickers set up on this wall. For setting up our home reference, we have a sticker over here called home. And I'm getting as close as I can. I can't use the magnification on this while it's recording, but that is close enough for illustrative purposes. We're going to turn on saving. We're going to set up a new project ID, call it B, B, C. Hm. Those guys, they like to do some seasonal time lapses. Going back to the move right here, start point. We are going to set up now our first move. We have some more stickers stuck on the wall here. We have our move 1A, and we're going to align to that, lock that in as our start point, and now we're moving down to move 1B, setting that as our end position. Our duration is going to be 8 seconds. Our ramp, maybe just 1.3 seconds. Everything else is the same. Summary screen you've seen before, we're but the difference here is it says home set yes. We're setting up this real world alignment. It's important that we mark this move that it's been referenced that way. Home is set. Additionally, our move files bbc1011.st4 is the file that we're about ready to save. We go back to start, jumps on up to our first position, reigns in our backlash, and we say go. And eight seconds later, we're finished up with this move. We've captured it, it's been saved to the card. Now let's set up a second move. I'm going to reset, and that only resets the move, it actually doesn't set reset the home position. That is set until you reset it. Jumping into program moves, options, I'm going to save. I mistakenly changed my folder structure, which I don't want to do. I want to go in and save. We say yes, the real world alignment is already set. We're good. So we go back and we set up our move, set a new move. Move uh, 2A is up here. And our end point for that is move 2B. And once we're set there, we will set a duration of six seconds. All the other defaults being the same, we're going into our BBC folder and our move file is 1012. The home reference is still set. We're good, we're going back to our start. And we will run that move. So when this move is complete, we're shutting everything down. Hi, welcome back. It's been months and we're capturing the seasonal time lapse of our wall here. We have our unit completely off right here. We are going to power on. 
Connect our remote. Go into our program shots. Hit our options menu with our SD card that uh, has all the move files loaded still, uh, still inside it. We can go through now and we are loading a move and we are going to set our real world alignment to that same position, our same home position that we had before, which for our purposes is this sticker on the wall that says home. I lock that on in and I want to load a file now and I'm going into my BBC folder and I've got two files. I'll load up the first one, 1011, which is my first move. Tells me it's a video file, 192 frames long, eight seconds, home is set. And since we've already set that, it's not gonna give us any warnings when we try to load this. We can go through and check our move bounds. We can check our start point which is up there. That looks good and reasonable. And there's our endpoint that we just checked. We go back and we say, we're going to play it. Goes back home or goes back. To, I shouldn't say home. It goes back to move uh, the, the start position of move one. We say go and it's off and running and playing back that move file that we recorded so long ago, years, months, seasons, five minutes ago. We're done with that. We're going to reset, but it doesn't reset our real world alignment. We, that is still in the memory. We jump on in, we're going to load a different move, which means we jump on into our programmed uh, shots, options, We've got our load screen, real world, real world alignment is already set by end user position or our home. And we are loading up a file that is in our BBC folder and we're loading up 1012, which is our second move. A little bit shorter move, it's a six second move, 144 frames long, home position is set. We're gonna confirm that we're gonna load that. I'm not even gonna check the bounds of it, but I could. I'm just gonna to move to my start position and it's off and running. Six seconds later, we've completed that shot and those two loaded and saved moves were, uh, were completed uh, after some time period and after the system shut down and after we reset that real world alignment. So in summary, this type of loading and saving is great for when you're on location, you wanna set up something once and then put multiple files on top of it. Save multiple files, one, two, 10 different files on top of that and then come back later only have to set up your real world alignment once and then play back all of those moves.